are the materials you'll need. Clear contact paper. A marker. Scissors. Some mason jar lids. A stick. I collected mine from the beach. This is a piece of a driftwood. Some string or yarn. I'm using twine and just some white string. And of course, some leaves and flowers from your garden or outside or the park. I collected mine from my front yard. Alright, the first thing you want to do is peel your contact paper gently and you want to keep the sticky side facing up. So I have my sticky side on top. I'm going to lay it down and then I am going to use some tape to just hold it down while I work. So I'm putting this tape on the corners. Perfect. Once you have your contact paper set, you're going to grab your mason jar lids and lay them down on the contact paper like so. All right, next you are going to trace the mason jar lids onto your contact paper. Perfect. Now I like to leave the lids on just so I could see how the flowers are going to look once they're inside of here. So next you're going to grab your flowers or leaves, whatever you're going to decorate your contact paper with and begin placing them inside of your mason jar lids. I like to lay my flowers facing downwards onto the sticky side this. finish adding all of my flowers and leaves onto my contact paper and I'm ready to seal it up. So I'm going to take my other piece of contact paper and sticky side facing down this time I'm going to cover up my flowers. I'm going to start at this corner, press down. Now the next step is to cut out your traced circles. Now the next step I'm going to put those aside for now. So I'm going to grab my twine and my stick and I'm going to create um, a little hanger for my wind chime. So I'm just going to tie it on. So I just attached the twine onto the both ends of the stick. This is so I can hang up my sun catcher wind chime. And next we're going to attach some strings for our um, 
mason jar lids. I'm gonna lay out how I'm gonna want my wind chime to be. So I kinda like it where they're all at different, you can have them straight down. I kinda like to have them um, going from longest to shortest, or you can, however you like. So I'm gonna do something like this. I'm gonna take my string and I'm gonna attach it onto my driftwood. Okay, once I have my string attached to the driftwood, I can measure out how long I want it. So, and I'm just gonna snip off And I'm gonna tie it onto my mason jar lid before. Make sure it's empty, you don't have your flowers in there yet. So once you have it nice and attached, I like to lay out how I'm gonna place these. Hmm, I like this yellow flower in the center. There, this one over here. Perfect. And all you have to do is flip your mason jar lid over and tuck the contact paper in. It stays quite nicely. You don't even need to put tape on there. And then I'm going to place my second one where I want it to go. Right about there. how to make your very own sun catcher wind chime. If you want to make one of these and you don't have contact paper or mason jar lids or some of the supplies needed, make sure to come to Harding School Garden this Thursday and Friday to pick up a kit that will have all the materials you need to make this awesome project. I'll be at the school garden from 11.30 to 1 p.m. It's on a first come first serve basis so make sure to get there quick so you can pick up a kit. Hey, bye.